Yeah, I like the way my time. I got the money and the boom boom. I got the bitches and the boom boom. I got the money and the boom boom. I got the time and the boom boom. Bitches and the boom boom. Get your back. Boom, boom. Come on now. You suck my crap. Boom, boom. You heard me? <laughs> I'm still at the hotel. I'm still slanging, banging, hoofanging. I'm at the hotel, working. I'm still working away from home. Um, I'm gonna, I didn't really write down much for this podcast, but I had, I had a few. Whoops. I had one. Right before I started this podcast, I had one on the list for episode 16. Episode 16. Episode 16. Did you see that rap video I put up? Dr. Dre. Let's ask Dr. Dre. Now, I'm not saying I'm a rapper. I'm not trying to rap. I'm not trying to be something. I'm just trying something because I, I got the microphone and the, the soundproofing shit. So I'm like, eh. Give it, and I, you know, every day I'll just sit in my living room and I'll throw in some rap and I'll just rap. And then I'll, uh, I'll start freestyling. And I just do it every day. And then I was like, you know what? Let me record this. So I just figured out how to record it. Not trying to be a rap star, if that's what you're thinking. It ain't happening that way. I'm just doing it. You don't like it? You don't like it? Then suck my boop. You know what I'm saying. My face looks really shiny because I just got out of the shower. If you're wondering. And I'm fondling ketchup packages over here because I've been eating out every single night. I don't get home until like 7.30, actually, yeah, later than 7.30, and then, you know, you gotta, uh, you gotta go to the food place, wait for the food, eat the food, and then get home, and it's like 8.30, there's no time, so you got no time to cook, and you're in a hotel room, you're supposed to have a kitchenette, but we do not, so you have to eat out, or buy groceries that uh, you can microwave. Because other than that, you can't cook anything. Unless you buy food that you don't have to cook. Which I guess I could do that, but still. Still. Get get out of my face. I'm not talking about this anymore. Ketchup packet. Would you like one ketchup packet? Two ketchup packet. Three ketchup packet. Four ketchup packet. Oops, that looks like three to me. That's four. And here's a fifth one. But you're not getting them. They're all mine. What am I doing? I'm just showing shit. Ooh, check this out. Heinz has a new ketchup packet. This thing. It's called the, the dip and squeeze, okay? So, you can peel open this, and you can dip and dunk. Uh-huh, you see? Dip and dunk. Or, you rip this top off, like, as if it was a bottle cap, and then you... You tip her, and you squeeze, and you can squeeze the ketchup on your fries. That's fucking genius! How come, how come KFC didn't think of that? How come McDonald's didn't think of that, even though that's Heinz, the same company that we were just talking about? Something else that happened. Look at this. See this ball? It looks tiny on camera. It looks like a regular sized golf ball. Okay, but it's not. It's like a... It's like a way bigger golf ball. See, there's a good size comparison. Okay? Now, why am I showing you this golf ball? It's plastic, okay? Oops. Why am I showing you this? It was in my room. This is not mine. This is a hotel room, okay? The maids come in every day, and they change the bed just like any hotel room. But why was this on the floor? That's what I want to know. So I've been thinking about it. Actually, I haven't been thinking about it because I just found it right before I started the podcast. It was right here. Under the bed. Why is this here? If you have some a conclusion of some sort, think about it. I have no idea why this would be here. I'm trying to think of a reason right now because I literally just found this on the floor right before I started the podcast. And I'm like, wow, this is something to talk about. I'm thinking right now. What? 
I don't get it. I don't understand. Because let's say the maid had this golf ball. Or they found it. Let's say they found it in another room and they picked it up. And they put it on their little cart. How? I just if that was the case, how would it end up in the room? Okay, let's say they let's say it was theirs and they put why would they put it here? I don't understand how it would get here. I'm trying to I'm trying to reason. The only reason I can think of is they they knew that they left it here. There's no way this was an accident. They did this on purpose to fuck with me. That's what I'm thinking. I bet you it was a guy. A guy who, 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 it wasn't a, a girl maid, it was a guy. A guy would do something like this. If I was working at a hotel every day and, you know, getting sick of doing the same shit every day, I'd, I'd fuck with people by just leaving shit in the room. Because it would just make you wonder. And I bet that's what's going on. Somebody, it could have been a girl who left it here, but they left it here to fuck with me. And it's not going to work. I was gonna throw it at the wall, but I know there's someone over there. Gonna... Ooh, didn't make her. Didn't make her. Okay, now we can jump into the list. We can jump into the list. Where are we? What are we at here? Six minutes. Six minutes. Where's the bibla? You know that every hotel has a bibla, right? The holly bibla. I gotta tell you a story about uh. About this bitch here, Holly Bibble. Sat next to her in eighth grade. She thinks she's the shit because her name's on a book that millions of people read. Holly Bibble, fuck you. Sat next to you in eighth grade, biatch. Okay, let's jump into this because I'm getting distracted. This is my book. Mike Rowe, who knows Mike Rowe? He's on Dirty Jobs. Dicka, dicka, dirty Jobs. Um, he, there's this picture going around of him. Uh, well, there's a quote that he said, and I don't know it off by heart. It's, it's kind of long. Not really. Uh, it said something along the lines of, uh, don't search for happiness. Take whatever job you can because you can quit at any time, uh, even if you don't like it. Happiness is not something you should pursue. And I posted something on Facebook and I was like, blah, blah, blah. What's wrong with uh, pursuing happiness? Um, yeah, you can quit any time you want, but it's kind of hard to find a new job. And when you do find a new job, uh, you're still not going to like it. And, you know, his argument is, it doesn't matter if you don't like it, you just do it. Be grateful of the fact that you have a job, is what he's saying. And I was just thinking, you know, we got all these millennials, I'm a millennial. That's what, the, that's what I'm classified as. I hate that word, but that's the classification. You got these old people who do not like new ideas. Um, it's very hard to accept. They've grown up a specific way. And for these young folks to just step in and say, hey, why would I choose to live the way that you lived when you were growing up? It caused nothing but stress for you and blah, 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 all this other shit. So why would you do that? Why not pursue happiness? It's a, it's a struggle to get there, but when you get there, it's totally worth it. So why not? But the adults look at it differently. I call them adults. I'm an adult too, but you know the, the older generations. You know they say, uh, "Fuck happiness. Stop living this fairy tale life," uh, because we're we were too influenced by the media and Facebook, and uh, we have these fairy tale ideas, and we need to just suck it up, uh, go out there and work, because just because they did it. They went through hardships. They, they're like, yeah, it sucks. I had to go through it. So should you. That's just how they think. Just because that's how they lived. That's how they did it. And I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I know anything. 
I'm just saying this is the idea I have that uh, I just don't see why pursuing happiness is a bad thing. What's wrong with it? If you get there, you know, chase the dream, the dream. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's move on to the next thing. H three H three Productions. Woo! Who knows H three? Ethan, I think I talked about them on this podcast already. I'm gonna do it again. Look at this. Ooh. Should I show you what hotel I'm in? Fuck it. Daz in, motherfucker. They put a bay. Look at this. Laundry. What? I ran out of underwear like two days ago. And I'm reading the bag. Is this at every hotel? They put bags in the drawer. You put your clothes in this laundry bag, right? Your your initials and your room number. And they'll fucking clean your clothes. Oh my god. Know what I'm doing? Yeah, baby. They even give you two of them. What is this? It's a receipt for BJ Cleaners. Um, who here knows what BJ stands for? Well, look what this says. No claims or adjustments after seven days. No responsibility for articles unclaimed after 30 days. Drapes at owner's risk while every care is taken at all times. We cannot accept any responsibility for any damage which may occur from causes unknown and beyond our control. We are not responsible for buttons, buckles, zippers, ornaments, shrinkage, or dyes, which are liable to run or dissolve in the process of cleaning. BJ Cleaners. Who here knows what BJ stands for? Is it what I think it is? Or is it something else? Oh my god. Oh, you gotta pay. You gotta pay, motherfucker. There's a whole list in here of prices. You got suit, two piece, $21. Where's the underwear? Underwear is. What? Okay, for underwear they charge two eighty eight. For long underwear, oh never mind. Never mind. I should stop talking about companies like this. You're gonna get my ass handed to me. Go to BJ Cleaners. Oh, who cares? I'm promoting them. They're not gonna do anything. They're not that popular. I know exactly where they are. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody have fun tonight. What am I doing? I'm, this is a podcast. Good thing I opened that book. Or else I'd be paying to do laundry. Fuck that. I guess I'm going to have to do it anyway. Because if I don't pay for it here, I'll have to go to the laundromat and still pay. But I think it's much cheaper at a laundromat. I've never been to one. Never. Well, I guess I have when I was young. Very young. Back in the old school, as Tupac Pac would say. Oh yeah, H3, H3. There was a Joey Salads episode recently. I'm still in the process of watching it. Because like I said, I never have time to do anything. When I come home from work, I'm squeezing this podcast in. Um, I watched the Joey Salads episode. It was not what I expected, but in a good way. I was expecting Ethan to to call out Joey Salads on a lot of stuff and kind of not so much degrade him, but 
you know, I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, you don't. Like, um, Ethan would, uh, I thought Ethan was gonna, you know, just call him out on stuff. Which he did. But Joey totally admitted to it, and that's his thing. And he's kind of friends with Ethan. And I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought they kind of hated each other, because Ethan was saying all this garbage about them. But they're actually friends. Check it out. You'll understand what I'm talking about when you watch it. You will understand. So I'm still in the process of watching it. Let's see how far into it I am. I'm 58 minutes in, which is halfway. Yeah, so like the past two days, I just watch a little bit and I shut it down. And then go to sleep. And I can't believe I'm on episode 16 and I'm still loving this. It's great. It's perfect. It's, it's, I think I found what I'm looking for. Because before I'd make videos and I was like, ah, I don't want to make another one. I'd get to a point where I just didn't feel like making them. And that's why I barely uploaded. I wasn't consistent. And like I said, consistency is what you need. But, uh, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I'm only 16 episodes in, which isn't much, so I can't talk yet. But I, I have a feeling. I'm liking it. It's, it's fun. Normally, if I'm staying at a hotel doing work, I wouldn't stay up to do a podcast. I would just say, fuck it, and go to bed. Or I shouldn't say podcast. I wouldn't stay up to do something else, a different video. If I if I started doing a, a regular scheduled video series that was something else, and I was like, I'm going to still continue to do it while I'm at work, away in this hotel. If that were the case before, I would have just said, fuck it. I'm just repeating myself now. But you know what I mean. I would have just said, fuck it. And wouldn't have done it. But this, I'm like, yeah, I want to do it. I feel like doing it every day. But most days I come home too late and I'm tired and I have to just go to bed. Well, tonight was like a time I could squeeze it in. Because at work today, there was a severe thunderstorm. And it was hailing and so much water that cars were floating down the street. Um... So we had to get shut down, and we were just sitting in the trailer for four hours, you know, talking and drinking coffee, and it was pretty cool. And we got paid for it. Um, and there was also a tornado just outside of the city that we're in. So we were looking at that on phones, and it was cool. It was a good time. So I you know, didn't get to work the last four hours. So I was like, you know what, I can fit a podcast in. Because I'm not tired. And that's what happened. My phone is dinging. Don't look at it though, because you're doing a podcast. You should shut that shit off, boy. So when's the next time I'm having guests? Couldn't tell you. So don't ask. Obviously the majority of these are just going to be me. But I'll have a guest. I'll have guests. Don't you worry. There's going to be guests. Maybe there will be a time when there's a guest every episode. Ooh, I just cracked my voice. There will be, probably eventually. But remember, I'm only seven episodes, or 16 episodes in. Why did I say seven? I'm only seven episodes in. Nope, I'm at 16. Six motherfucking teen. Oh, my nose is itchy. <sighs> and I ran into shit in my book. I said to, like I said, I only had one, and I filled them out right before I started the podcast. So let's see if I can think of some things off the top of my head. There goes the book. I can't think of anything. That's why I have to write shit down. Normally, I, well, I can get into a flow like I was doing. You know what? Maybe I'll just make this a 20-minute podcast. What's the matter? What does it matter, bro? Why does it have to be 40 minutes all the time?
because it doesn't. It doesn't. Look at this pen. Fucking beautiful. I'm promoting days in all day. No, I'm not. I'm really not. But I kind of am because I keep flashing their logo all over the screen. There goes my phone. Once again, I'm very curious, but I'm not going to look. Actually, I'm probably just going to end the podcast for 20 minutes. Uh, ah. Talk dirty to me. Okay, what should I, I'm going to end every podcast with uh, some sort of, uh, what do you call it? Um... What is it? Moral. That's the word I'm looking for. The moral of the story is, uh, um, grab your penis by the balls and